If you choose to put in a divider island, you have the option of specifying your own island settings or you can pick it up from CAD. In my next example, I'll pick it up from CAD. In this example, we'll go and specify which island settings to use. The diagram indicates what the values represent and if you need to make changes, it's very easy to do so. Moving on to the right curve. As mentioned before, if you've got everything in CAD, you can pick it up from your CAD entities. So let's do so in this case. I'm going to pick up my bow mouth information from the CAD entities and I'm then again indicate the CAD entity. Nice thing about this function is if you don't have the CAD entity on yet, you can always go to your CAD layers and turn them on. So I'm turning on layers here that I'll utilize for not only design purposes, but also for explanation purposes. Right, so I'm going to click on indicate again. I'm hoping you can see that red arc there. I'm going to use for my bow mouth design. Go close by, left click, it's highlighted. I know it's the correct one. If I've made a mistake, I can go and right click and redefine it. If I've got more than one CAD entity, I can select multiple CAD entities. In this case, I'm happy with what I've selected. I select extract string. As far as my divider island is concerned, again, I'm going to go and pick up that information from my CAD entities. Click on indicate polyline. Just take in note that your two roads are transparent. So it's easy to see which CAD entity to use. Select it, it's highlighted. Again, I'm using a linear vertical grading for the right hand side. If need be, you can go and change your curb type for your islands.